Hi guys, March here and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing my all-time favorite Cape Palette 24-hour Re-Lasting Eyebrow with the new addition to the Sunny Space line, which is the Life Brow Micro Marker and also the Strokes Beauty Lab Micro Blade Pen Perfector. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. So I've tried different eyebrow pens in the past from different brands but I always always went back to my favorite K palette because uh, they simply were not just good enough so either the shades were too dark or too warm for me or the tip was not fine enough or the applicator was just uh, it made the whole application really messy so it was hard to control. So when I saw that Sunny Space released the Life Brow Micro Marker, I was really excited and wanted to compare it with my new purchase as well which is the Strokes Beauty Lab Micro Blade Pen Perfector. So let's go! So first off, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of each product. This will include the description, its claims, the shades available, and the weight if available. So now I'm going to be comparing the three eyebrow pens. So we'll start off with the packaging. Out of the three products, my favorite would have to be the Strokes V Lab kasi ito lang yung ang yung design niya was well thought out. Meron siyang um, minimalist design tapos merong gold accents dito. And then aside from that, it also has the name the shade and also how much product it has in and also dito you can tell what shade this is as for the two other products like for example uh the k palette one it's really simple then it's colored brown and then with a short description of the product pero uh, it doesn't uh the rest are in a sticker tapos in japanese but you can also tell um with the color of the packaging yung shade niya but other than that, I uh, hindi ko maintindihan yung other things here in the sticker. And as for the Sunny Space one, you can tell the shade by the color of the packaging. But other than that, name lang yung meron dito, so it doesn't have uh, the shade name. It doesn't have how much product it has in. So it's very simple. Din. Aside from the design of the packaging, I also love the the cap of the Strokes Beauty one because it's much tighter than the rest and also it feels much sturdier than the other two so next up i'm going to be comparing the applicators out of the three only sunny space had a felt tip applicator while the strokes beauty one and the k-palt one had brush tip applicators so actually i prefer the brush tip ones over felt tip ones because they finer yung strokes na na create nito but uh, although Sunny Space had a felt tip, I was also able to create fine strokes din naman. It's just that finer lang talaga yung strokes that I was able to create with the two other products. So out of the three, the Strokes Beauty Lab had the finest tip and I was also able to create the finest stroke with this one. But the problem with this one, eh, is that it releases more product than it should. I don't know if you can tell from this clip nagbleed na siya out of the brush tip and also i i didn't even put this na pa paganyan so this was placed like this in the vanity and it bled out of the applicator so this is why for the applicator my favorite would still have to be the k palette one so ito talaga yung hindi siya nabubleed and it has a fine stroke and it's very easy to use. So for the shades, hands down talaga to Sunny Space because they released four different shades. Tapos these shades actually look perfect with different skin tones and also will work with different hair colors. So unlike kasi sa Strokes Beauty Lab, which medyo dark yung mga shades niya and there were only two shades available. For K-Palette naman, their shades available are medyo light na siya. So this is the darkest shade available now, which is natural brown. And for the pigmentation, Sunny's face also had that on point. Nasa middle siya ng Strokes Beauty Lab and also the K-Palette one. Hindi siya sobrang dark like the Strokes Beauty Lab and would need more control. And hindi naman siya super light na almost translucent na siya. So, perfect talaga yung 
pigmentation, and the shades for Sunny's face. So all three products were transfer proof and smudge proof and lasted the whole day. So I was able to test all three products and I did not have any problems with like in terms of sweat, sa, yung sa oil sa face. So it didn't um, come off. So even though it says like after a few seconds, you can still work with it with a spoolie naman. So it's really workable. So for the final thoughts, my least favorite would have to be the Strokes Beauty Lab because although the design of the packaging is perfect and the tip is just super fine, I had a problem with the pigmentation. Sobrang dark, sobrang dark niya. And the shades are medyo on the dark side and also the applicator niya nagbleed siya. So it's um, much harder to use and harder to control. Although I can still work with it to like, create yung eyebrows that I usually go for or the look that I usually go for, uh, mas mahirap siya gawin with the Strokes Beauty Lab. For the product that came in second, it is my favorite K palette, so I have a new favorite now. But if there's anything that I would add or change to K palette, uh, is I wish I knew how much product it has in, and also the pigmentation, um, just a little bit um, dark, pang same. I wish the pigmentation was the same as the Sunny's Face one. So I do have a new favorite now and it's the Sunny Space Micro Marker. It's super affordable. The shades are perfect. I was also able to work with the felt tip so it's just okay. So if there was anything that I would change or add to this, I wish I knew how much product it has in so I would know how much I'm saving from buying um, from buying the K palette to the sunny space and also I wish we had an option for a brush tip so somewhere in the future I hope they would create a sunny space micro marker with a brush tip so you do have the option to create super super fine strokes like the strokes beauty lamp and I guess that's it so that concludes our video. I hope I did cover everything and if I didn't, please don't hesitate to comment down below so I can answer them. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to be notified when I do upload. So that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.